So first off, when I put on glass, notice that it's not in my line of sight. That's really key. Now, you've probably seen a few people walking around South By wearing glass, and you'll notice that none of them have it right in front of their eye. That's really important because as I'm wearing glass, I still want to be able to connect with you and make eye contact. And I also don't want anything in the way of what I'm doing. But we want glass in our field of vision. So all I have to do is look up quickly, and there's the screen. So on the side here, as you may have guessed, is a touchpad. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and it's going to take me to the home screen. If I go ahead and slide down, it'll dismiss, kind of like the back button on your Android phone. And it can also hear me. OK, Glass, at Google, how do you say thank you in Japanese? Oh, arigato. So you'll see that. You can clap as much as you want. So that was a, a live Google search right there, and it gave me a result on the screen that I could see. And it also said to me how to pronounce arigato. You didn't hear it because that was audio just for me. You notice I don't have anything in my ear, so I can still hear all the ambient audio around me, but I can also hear something from glass. All right, mind if I take a picture? All right. So we'll, we'll do this one. Okay, glass. Take a picture. Hey, there we are. So you'll notice I can turn glass on by looking up like I just did. And if I want, I can scroll to that photo. And if I do a quick, hey, how you doing? It'll nudge the screen to dismiss it. So with these input options, voice, touch on the side, and some basic head gestures, I can control glass in just about any situation. All right, let's do a couple more things. So I'm going to go to that picture I just took. Right, I'm here at the home screen. I'm going to slide forward. There's that picture. Don't you all look wonderful? <laughs> I'm going to tap right on that picture, and I get card options. Now, this picture is a timeline card. And on there, when I tap, I can get options, including share and delete. I'm going to choose share, and I'm going to share it with my friends on Google+. Plus. <coughs> Done. These timeline cards, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Sydney's taking some photos and getting some updates from him. Uh, you'll notice that I have this picture. I've got the arigato. These are things that have happened in time. We're going backward in time as I swipe, swipe, swipe forward. If I swipe backward, we go forward in time, or to the left, and I can swipe all the way over here to some Google Now cards. <coughs> you can see that I've got the weather, um, and I've got some places. Now, a note about this special card. You'll notice it has a fold in the upper right. If I tap on a card like this, it expands into more items. In this case, it's the three-day forecast. If I swipe down, I'm kind of back out of that. This is what we call a bundle. All right, now I think there's enough terminology for now. We've got the timeline, swipe forward to go back in time, swipe the other way to go to things that are happening right now, and at any moment I can swipe forward or swipe down and tap, and I'm at the home screen. Does that all make sense? Super simple, right? All right. We're going to come back to this, I promise. We're going to do more.